next experience. For this one, I want you to close your eyes. It's very important that you close your eyes. Okay, now with your eyes closed, I'd like you to picture in as much detail as you can the room that you've been sitting in. And what I want to do is ask you another question. Without peeking or without speaking, I want you to visualize the centerpiece on your table. What does it look like? Visualize it as clearly as you can. And then open your eyes and check to see if you saw it correctly. Okay. This is a way of introducing picture smart. This is the intelligence of pictures and images. The pictures and images outside of ourselves, our perception, our ability to see things, but also the pictures and images inside our minds. The ability to visualize, the ability to have a great imagination. Now, young children have incredible imaginations. Many of them have what we call eidetic imagery. They see things in their mind's eye that are as clear as outer perceptions to the rest of us. And that's why, for example, their dreams can be very terrifying. I remember one cartoon by one of America's most famous cartoonists, Gary Larson. And in this cartoon, a mother comes into a boy's bedroom. And the boy is under the covers with just his eyes showing. And you can see from the eyes that he's really scared. And the mom is saying to him, now how can you tell me there's a monster in this room when you can't even describe his face to me? And in the corner you see a monster with a bag over his head. Young children have this incredible imagination and as we get them into words and numbers through schooling, they begin to lose this capacity. They lose their imagination. They lose their ability to see through pictures and images. But this is the intelligence of the artist, and it's very important that we cultivate and nurture this intelligence as the child grows.